All right, let's go down memory lane. Uh, this article actually here, I, I said, remember when all the bankers were off offing themselves? So in Ferguson, Michael Brown gets killed, and then uh, another witness in the Michael Brown shooting was found dead. So anybody who was witnessing were found fucking dead afterwards. And I said, remember when all the bankers were offing themselves? There were probably about like three or four or five bankers that were just killing themselves there for a while. It was like a weird-ass fucking epidemic. Um, so I don't know. Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission, International Bankers. Who the fuck is running all this shit? And then um, Ash Nicole Roper said, yeah, I think. Do you think it's the same people killing them folks off? I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. CIA, FBI, all these damn shadowy groups. Um, but I said it did seem suspicious as fuck, and then I pointed out that the FBI got Fred Hampton, which is obvious. Everybody knows that. Two years ago today, December 9th, 2013, here's a picture of Allison Lundergan Grimes talking to uh, two children, you know, all smiling, all happy. Oh, look at them. Dollar General Ralph Nader, Dollar General's treatment of low-wage workers is shameful. Very good. Very true. There, Ralph. Here's a... Uh, in order for non-violence to work, your opponent must have a conscience. Stokely Carmichael. He's right. He's right. Yeah, you're going to be non-violent and hope that eventually somebody gives a shit. But if you're non-violent and they're violent, that's almost... That's a death sentence. This is a... Uh, you had me at fuck the system. Yeah, I like that meme. It's a... Uh, God, find me a revolutionary woman. And... Um, I'll be I'll, I'll be submissive. <laughs> I'll be I'll be her puppy dog. I'll let her do her thing and just keep supporting her. I'd work a shit job. I'd work in the coal miners as long as I knew that my better half was you know um, shaking the fist at the man. Here's a the final words of a student killed by a campus cop. He's like, "You're gonna shoot me? You're gonna shoot me?" And the cop is like, "Yep, pow 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 pow, murders him." And then eventually, it took like a year or two, but eventually Robert Cameron Redis, 23 years old, Texas University student, you know, uh, found out that he was he was killed. He was killed. And this is, you know, two years ago. So this was before, I don't know, I forget when the riots and all that shit happened. I guess Michael Brown, that shit just happened, right? Um, but there was no sense of justice at all. Until Ferguson, until Eric Garner and Baltimore riots, there was no sense of justice at all. This motherfucker got killed and then, you know, oh, white privilege. Uh, if you're white, you have it all good. Suck a dick, you stupid motherfuckers. This guy is one of the smartest people at the Texas University and he got killed. For what? For what? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing because a fucking rogue cop, an egotistical, goddamn narcissistic bastard wanted to murder people. That's, that's why he got killed. Let's see, we're all Khalid Saeed. I think that's the guy that got killed the Egyptian Revolution. So the University students of Cairo battling Egyptian police. Eventually the Egyptian Revolution fails. So, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed off about that. I think it has to do with a little bit of our government we support. You know, I don't know. I don't want to get into that. But unfortunately the Egyptian Revolution failed, but the Tunisian Revolution succeeded. So, Jonathan Masters added a new photo. I mean, I, I had a real busy day, right? I was posting like a motherfucker. <laughs> but all these are good. I like every one of these. Which professions other than axe murderer have the most psychopaths? And what about the least? So, if you're a psychopath, then be a lawyer. Be a CEO. Go into media, TV, radio, a salesperson. You know, a surgeon, journalist, police officer, clergy person, chef, civil servant. But if you care about others... Care aid, nurse, therapist, a crafts per person, beautician, charity worker, teacher, creative artist, doctor, accountant. I can see myself being a teacher, police officer, lawyer. I see all these things. Um, crafts person. Some things I just wouldn't do because I'm not interested in actually doing the work itself. But no, I'm not above any of that civil servant. I mean, look at the psychos. If you're a CEO, a lawyer, media, salesperson, journalist, cop. If you're a cop. If you're a chef, clergy. Civil servant, you don't give a fuck about others. You got no empathy, nor do you have any anxiety. Louisville created the first cheeseburger, or did it? Some say yay, some say nay. What say you? Because um, that's uh, who did create the first cheeseburger. You know, here you have not Luff, Akram say that Seattle did, but uh, there was a place in Louisville that claimed it. There was like several places in the early 1900s that, hey, I put cheese on this burger. <laughs> 
and uh, oh wow, you're a genius. You're so smart. You're so smart, right? But uh, that's you know that's an American invention. Cheeseburger, putting the cheese on top of the burger. We didn't come up with chopping up cows and put them in the hamburger patties that was hamburg i think that was probably come out of germany right hamburg germany but we was like hey what if we put some cheese on this um if not all cat cops are bad then why don't the good cops do anything about the bad cops so like i said this is before the uh there was a sense of uh, justice and uh, the reason why, because there aren't any fucking good cops. There haven't been any good cops to thin blue line, you know, for 15 years in Alabama. They were planting evidence on people and throwing them in fucking jail. And then just recently some cops came forward and uh, now there's, you know, going to be charges or whatever. Hopefully, you know, all those other false convictions will be overturned and people get some freedom and shit. But what the fuck? You know, they probably fuck people's lives over. You get, you know, thrown in jail, you get set up like that, then you lose your job, and then your whole life just fucking spirals out of control just because a piece of shit with a fucking badge, you know, just wants to go around feeling like Billy Badass. And um, and how obvious, you know, it just seems obvious to me. Somebody that is in a position of power and authority is more likely to be corrupt. If you don't have power, how can you be corrupt? If you have the power to be, you know, um, so... There seems to be a sense of justice doesn't mean we're actually in a good spot or a perfect spot But a sense of justice is better than no justice at all. So I'm optimistic about the future Life itself is your teacher and you are in a state of constant learning Bruce Lee is such a badass man be like water formless be shapeless like water That's his whole not life philosophy, but fighting philosophy, too just kind of, you know, be able to assume whatever shape you can go through. So Nikola Tesla, badass. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformist. Absolutely true. Very, very good point, Nikola Tesla. So liberation, education, my philosophy. Uh, wow, that's, um, that's three years ago. I will click on that and take a look at it after this. So here's me hanging out with JJ Bervino. <laughs> this is um, in uh, three years ago. This is uh, I think around Thanksgiving actually. So but it was uh, December 9th so I got up there maybe later in Thanksgiving. And that was fun. Actually I had a good time there. I was up in Columbus, Ohio. I wrote the proposed legacy of Jonathan Masters. Do, seems like was it the same day or I didn't do did I do all of that in one day? That's amazing. It was 2012. Okay, so this is just my December 9th birthday. Tupac's jaywalking press conference. He got shot at or something for jaywalking. Wound up suing, and getting some money out of it. What racism means: the structural oppression of non-whites through government, legislative, cultural norms, representation in the media. What white people thinks it meant: a black girl made fun of me in middle school. <laughs> you know, that was uh, in 2012. That was when I was, you know, totally pro-blacks and anti-whites, and it did not win me any black friends. I won no black friends by being like that. And so I have actually um, changed my perspective just slightly. Black people do have to endure racism. It's not slavery, you know. It's not you know what was going on a hundred years ago or even fifty years ago. But there is you know white um, there uh, there is racism still that they have to deal with it. But there's also black racism. A black girl made fun of me in middle school. Yeah, maybe that's uh, that is racist. There is something racist about that. But um, it's about having power over on somebody too. So if that if it was a black teacher. If it was a black teacher who fucked over, you know, a white student, then that would be racist. If it was that black girl robbed the white person because they were white, well, that's racist too. You know, racism is discrimination based on a person's color. Here's a, oh yeah, December 9th, 2012. This was like a day or two after I got beat up, to be honest with you. This was a, uh, fuck. This is bringing up some fucking fucked up memories. December 7th, 2012 is when the LMPD fucking attacked me. And I pointed out that Kentucky's right of, li right of way laws, like I was crossing legally in the intersection. And even that fucking lawyer, that ex-cop, Ian Stedemeyer, was like, Ugh, yeah, this jaywalker, stupid ass bitch, he's the one that fucking lost my case. 
Um, so, you know, I did a lot of fucking work on that, but didn't have anybody, you know, uh, a conversation about it with anybody. And um, I, I, I mo- won it mostly, and there's still a federal case in stuck in some fucking system today, which I don't know where it's at. So online sales to be added to defense authorization bill. So anyways, that is my life in the last three years. On December 9th.